Okay, this is Ringwalk Media in association with Wellows Therapy and Barclay Carter Racing. Mr. Lewis Sylvester, it's good to see you back in the ring and a good win, mate. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I needed that. Bit of a uh, bit of ring rust off now. Keep the momentum going, yeah. It's been a little while. I think what six months or so, and uh, I'm just seeing a bit of a spring in your step in that ring. Yeah, February was my last fight. Obviously, I boxed a fucking very good kid in Sam Knox, and uh, I had a little bit of demons to get off in then, and that's what I've done. Um, wanted to settle down a little bit more instead usually I'm I'm all over the place and I did my work when I planted my feet and then I did my little movements that I do just little things that I picked up um, obviously train, I've been doing a bit with Connor now um, down in also we've worked on a few things in there and a lot of them was working coming off some of them was a little bit it was coming into me when I was throwing them so I couldn't get everything off but I enjoyed it in there so. Connor, I could see you. See you uh, I was I was down near where you were, and you were saying, you know, use the twitch, use that jab. He looked he looked really sharp on that. Yeah, when when he was on his toes and he was he was moving his head and moving his hands, and um, the kid couldn't deal with him, and, and it, it stopped him and slowed him down. And I think Lewis was a lot sharper than him, so when he's moving, it, it, it when he stands still, he's playing it into his hands a little bit. So I was trying to keep him on his toes, twitching, moving, and being sharp like he is. Well, it's good to see you back in the ring, and obviously, you know, the loss against Noakes was, you know, not what you'd planned. You were fighting for, you know, a British title and three other titles at the same time, so it was always going to be tough. Um, but I got a feeling in that ring there that you just you've got that excellence still in your spring. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm still ranked fairly high at lightweight. Um, obviously, now coming off the the loss, the defeat from uh, Noakes, the, the plan is to go down to super featherweight. Um, I didn't really have to die in that camp, just eat, eat clean, so we're in a weight making sport and if I'm not struggling, or not struggling, but if I'm not having to make the weight without sort of measuring all your food out and stuff like that, then obviously someone needs to change a little bit and he come in a lot heavier than me on the night and I think I put like six pounds on, they put a lot more on, so. You've, you've sort of floated anyway, haven't you? Yeah, well last last year I had four back-to-back -back championship fights and then finally had the, the British title shot. And I uh, was on a good run of wins and got some good kids. And uh, yeah, obviously, Knox is a top, top operator. So there's no shame in getting beat to Sam Knox, who, who would like to say, was on a, a knockout streak until his last fight. But he still looked like he could do another 12 rounds after boxing Mendy. So yeah. But to be fair, out there, you, you, you look very, very comfortable. You've probably done another six rounds out there as well. Well, yeah, like I like said, like last year, four back to back championship fights. I'm a championship fighter. Obviously, these six rounders, they're, uh, they're, I'm, I'm not saying I don't train hard for them because I do, but it's it's a lot different to when you're doing a championship fight. It's uh, I can coast them. As much as it was a good fight, it was it come it game. I thought it was just going to walk around the ring so I could get a bit of ring rust off, but it come and it, it was game. So, um, no, I enjoyed it, like I said, and uh, thanks to Connor as well for helping me out instead of travelling all the way to and from Donny every other day to, to train down there. I've, I've been to all. Letting a few bits off Connor, and it, obviously Connor being a southpaw as well, he was a southpaw. There was things that we worked on. Well, Connor, where do you want to see sort of uh, uh, the next steps to be? I think uh, I think he's good enough to move down Super Feather. I think he'll be strong at Super Feather. Um, I think firstly he needs to see if he can make the weight uh, comfortably. So I think Steph is obviously his his main trainer. So I don't know what plan Steph has got for him, but I know that. Um, Seeing Lewis myself and, and taking Lewis in the gym, I know that he's capable of, of doing a lot of super heavy. He can make the way. I think um, maybe another fight. I don't know what stuff he's got planned. Maybe another fight at Super Feather. And then he'll probably look at for a title, maybe English title again, because he's, he's, he's boxed English title before. He might get that opportunity sooner rather than later. Well, obviously, if you're going down to Super Feather, you've got the likes of Bellotti and uh, Gomez Jr. They'll be good fights. Yeah, listen, the, the boxing's a business to me. I'm not one that to call fighters out, but if the phone rings, I'm not going to say, no, I don't, I don't back down for anyone. Like, you're saying I didn't back down from Sam Knox, who was splashing everyone, getting them out there. But a fight's a fight. Money's money. If I, if the title's there, then the title's there, bonus. But, yeah, like Connor said, um, I spoke to Steffi in the gym the other week and got another show on in November. I'm just going to do Super Feather there, see if I can make it comfortably. Do practice the check weights and all that sort of stuff and... Obviously, if I, if I do it and I perform well, then we're going to Super Featherweight. Well, I think you'll be a bloody handful, quite frankly, at Super Featherweight. And I'm looking forward to seeing that transition as well and seeing the best of you. Because I think if you get the weight right, we'll see another level. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, if I make that weight correctly, I can carry the power with me. 
I can carry my footwork and all the stuff and, and the resistance and stuff that I've got, then um, I reckon I'll be a very good super feather. Listen, you want to get off, you know, it's uh, time to go and uh, get some food. Really, really good to see you boys, both of you, and uh, look forward to November. Before we finish, just want to say one thing. Uh, my old coach, Billy Dawson, lost his father the other day. Connor was very close to Martin Dawson, and uh, yeah, we lost the whole lost uh, another boxing soul in the city uh, this week. So just want to say a shout out to Billy and his family, and Sam Connor will probably won't have something to say, but yeah, just want to say I hope you're all good, and yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, thinking about the Dawsons today, um, big part of my life as well as Lewis's, so yeah, thinking about them. Well said, boys, well said. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.